so in this lecture we are going to learn about removing a note from a doubly linked list so we are given a doubly linked list it has several nodes and then you are asked that okay remove a node with a given key so let's first see just the structure of the doubly linked list so it has a head pointer which tells us the address of the first node of the doubly linked list then we see that each of the node so it has one data portion where we have some data and it has the address of the next node and address of the previous node so if we look like this so it has the data here like first node has data 1 and then it has the address of the next node so which is 0x35 and so this is the data address of the second node and this is also given in the next pointer of the first node here similarly the previous each node has the address of the previous node so if we see here 0x21 is the previous node address that is stored here 0x21 okay so now the question is you have to remove a node from the doubly linked list maintaining all the pointers so we will see what is the algorithm for this so first when solving this problem so we will try to graphically solve this problem so that we can get some hold on the problem so let's say that we call a function remove node one okay so this means i have to remove the node that has data one in it so what to do again the linked list is a linear data structure so we have to traverse the doubly linked list and at each of the node we have to compare the data so if we have to search so it means for de deleting any node first we have to search where it is located so that's important so first is we have to search we have to search that node that okay where is it located in the doubly linked list then only we can delete it so we start and then what happens so traversal is quite simple for doubly linked list similar to the linked list so what happens so for traversal so we make struct node start temp is equal to head so that we have a temporary pointer that also points to the head okay so this is head and there is a temp pointer which now we point it to head that means now our temp is 0x35 so that we can access the first node then what happens now we have to check which node has the data so what we do so we do while temp next so temp next is basically the pointer to the second element here so temp next means wherever temp is pointing temp next will point to the next node okay so temp is here so temp next is here and to access the data of any node we use temp arrow data so let's try to just understand so it has three parts so if temp is a pointer so temp data will give us the data of that node temp next will give us the pointer to the next node and temp previous will give us the pointer to the previous node so this arrow is basically a c notation to access the pointer element okay to element of the structures so we have so what we do so while temp arrow next arrow data is not equal to key so we keep on doing temp is temp next so what happens we come to node one so we compare is temp next data is temp next data which is seven is it equal to one no so we do temp is equal to temp next so it becomes now 71 and our temp comes here okay and then what happens now again is temp next data which is 2 is it equal to 1 so no so 
so again temp is equal to temp next so this becomes 0 x 8 9 and we move to this place so now again it checks is temp next so this is temp so is temp next data which is 1 is equal to 1 and it's true so now we stop the while loop so now our temp is here okay and then let's see so now what i want to do is i want to manipulate so we were saying that okay we need to search the element but now you are saying that okay why the question very valid question that comes is why are we stopping so why are we stopping one element before isn't it so one node earlier so try to understand this so we are stopping one node earlier because if we come to this node then it's difficult in fact in doubly linked list it's possible also so what happens we come here and then we need to manipulate to remove this node we need to make connections between one node before this and one node after this okay so that's why we stopped here okay so what we need to do now this next which is now pointing to 0x17 it should become equal to 0x25 and similarly this one so its previous should become now instead of 0x17 it should become 0x89 so to make that shift what we do we have struct node star temp2 equal to temp next so we make a temp2 come here so temp2 which is temp next okay so it comes here so now how we are manipulating okay so let's see we have to organ reorganize some of the pointers for temp and temp2 so what we do now temp next becomes temp2 next okay so temp next is temp2 next what it means so it means temp next is now 0x17 it becomes temp2 next which is 0x1 temp2 next 0x25 so this is removed this connection and it becomes like this so 0x25 so now what it means here it becomes 0x25 and then what we need to do is this previous should now point to this 0x89 or temp instead of this node 1 so what we need to do how to access this so temp2 next is this one and temp2 next arrow previous should become equal to temp okay so that's what we do so temp temp to next arrow previous is becoming equal to temp so this is doing the work so temp to next is this one and it's previous so this is now becoming equal to this one okay so we have made the connection with the previous and the next node of node 1 and then what we need to do is we need to free this node also so how will we do so what we need to do is we need to make temp to next is equal to temp to previous is equal to null okay so temp to previous is this one we make it null temp to next we make equal to null and then we do free temp so this way we are able to remove this node okay so what else is left in the code is this part of the code why we are writing so we were able to remove the node so why do we need this part of the code okay so we need because we are checking here that while temp next data so temp next data it means i'm not checking for the first one so for that what we need to do i'm checking the first element now and if head data is equal to the key because here we are directly missing the first element 
so to check that we do if head data is equal to key that means if it is the first node itself we want to delete so what we need to do we need to make head is equal to head next and before that we need to store the first memory location in temp so we do temp is equal to head so temp is now here temp is equal to head and then head is equal to head next so this one points here and now head is this so head previous is null and then now temp is this one so temp previous is null and temp next also we make null and then we free temp okay so temp next and temp previous becomes null and head previous also we make null so that the second element previous which was pointing to this now becomes null so now this becomes the head so this was about deleting a node from a doubly linked list i hope you understand so if you like this video please subscribe to my youtube channel and make this your favorite thanks a lot